Hello everyone, my name is Binks, and welcome back to Let's Play Nor Paranorma Site, The Seven Mysteries of Honjo. We're continuing on, and we're still in the first part of the game, Shogo Okie's part. Um, and we've already killed two people now, but we kind of had no choice, right? I mean, it was kill or be killed kind of thing, but uh, still, I don't know, man. All of this just to bring back Yoko. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know if that's worth it, but whatever. Uh, where to next? I'm glad we didn't have to kill the, the handsome detective guy, because I'm, I'm already intrigued by him. First, around Midori... Midori... Oh, God. Midori Cho Park. At the, at the end of South Warigesui Street is the Taiko of Sugaru. North of there is a school called Komagata High School. At the location of the Fool's Procession. It should be around here. Alright. Does it matter? Let's go to the park. Midori Cho Park. Oh, there's two guys here. This is Midori Cho Park. Location of the Taiko of Sugaru. One of the Seven Mysteries. Oh, huh? someone's there. Two men, one middle-aged and the other a young adult, talking to each other. There's a good chance that one of them could be a curse-bearer. I'll try to scope things out without being spotted. To pick up their conversation from this distance, I'll have to focus in and watch them for a while, I think. If it looks like I'll be spotted, I'll quickly hide behind a tree to move out of line of sight. Oh my god, I have to do this? Uh-oh. Huh, they were supposed to be around here, but I don't see anyone, boss. Ah, oh, voices. No need to get ahead of ourselves. I bet we've seen something before the night is done. Maybe you're right, but still, the seven mysteries. Huh? Was there a noise from behind us just now? Hey, who's there? Ugh. You were telling me to hide behind a tree, but uh, how do I do that? I, I didn't have instructions on how to do that. I tried clicking and nothing happened. Oh, you two are police officers. Oh, okay. Whatever. <laughs> oh, I, I need to settle on voices for them because I have so many male characters now popping up. Uh, I could always do my generic young guy voice. Even though technically I think Shogo's younger. <laughs> People often say we don't look it. Sorry if we startled you. I'm sure there's no problem, but we'll have to ask you some questions as procedure. Oh, I'm June Edio. I'm from the Metropolitan Police Department, Investigative Division. Aw, he's cute. Hope he's not evil and I hope I don't have to kill him. <laughs> That's all I can say. Newbie detective, June Edio. Oh, look at that face! <laughs> What's with that bounty face, you old fish? Oh, he's so cute. And this old guy with a scowling mug is Chief Inspector Tatsuo Tsutsumi, my superior officer. You wouldn't guess from that frown, but he actually has quite the sweet tooth. <laughs> wow. Uh... Anyo, quit blubbering. Veteran Detective, Tetsuo Tsutsumi. Alright, let's look at them. Tetsuo, Chief Inspector. The gruff police detective that Shogo, Oki, met at Mido Ticho Park. June. Ooh, excuse me. Fresh faced police detective. Alright. Uh, I think? Uh-oh, they're detectives. They're not investigating the corpse that was here, are they? No, I'm still fine anyway. It's not like a curse should, uh, could show up as evidence in a police investigation. I can hardly believe how calm I am. I just need to keep a cool head and not panic. Uh, should I look around? I 
could look at them. I always imagine detectives as blunt and aggressive, but I guess there are some pleasant ones, too. Yeah. He's as intimidating as I'd expect a veteran cop to be. First a private detective, now police detectives. Why today, of all days? Has to be a reason, right? Um, okay. Guess we could just talk. <laughs> Stop with the pouty mouth! It's really funny and cute. <laughs> now first, can you show me some ID with your name, address, and occupation? I'll be okay. I'm better off just going along with it. Wow, you work for Haihaku Soaps? I heard they've been raking it in lately. Is that true? I don't know much about that. I'm just a recent hire. People are loving that new hair product you have. I use it all the time myself. Thank you for your patronage. Are you use hair products? Get with the times, boss. Guys nowadays all use these things. Isn't that right, Mr. Okie? Uh, yeah, sure. We even make men's cosmetics now. Not so. What a time we live in. Sorry, boss is the kind of caveman who thinks using only a bar of soap for all his washing makes him cool or something. I don't think that. I just don't care enough to use anything else. Actually, we do have all-in-one soaps for just that purpose. There are plenty of people like you. Huh. Hear that, Ariel? That's what I'm talking about. You should put mo out more of those. Aren't you riled up? <laughs> okay, anything else? I have to figure out whether or not they're curse bearers first. With two of them, the bear could be either one. Could the other already be aware that their friend has a curse stone? Maybe I could have learned something if I had listened to more of their conversation. But I- how could- I was just stand- I wasn't touching or moving or anything, I don't know. Either way, if I'm gonna do it, I have to get them both. Leaving one alive would be too risky. Damn, you're just killed. Think about killing cops. Wow. Though I still don't know if I can use the curse on two people at once if they both leave at the same time. Oh my gosh. I'll leave the questions up to him. I got nothing to ask. Okay. Anyway, Mr. Okie, what is it that you're doing here? Um, actually, I'm searching for the Seven Mysteries. You really just told them? Have you heard of the Seven Mysteries of Honjo, Detective? Yeah, yeah, I heard of them. We were just talking about them a minute ago. A girl I know is into them. That's how I got interested. I see. I seem to remember even Mirochi Pa- Mirochi- Mo Midori Cho. God, my brain. Midori Cho Park had one of the mysteries associated with it. What was it again? Uh. I don't remember. Can I cheat? <laughs> we already did the haunting clappers. Was it the Taiko? He mentioned the foot washing, but I think that was the other location. I don't think we mentioned... It was either the Fool's Procession or the Tycho. Dang, Abbott. I'm cheating. Fool's Procession... Kumagata... No, we might have... Uh... It has to be this one, right? The Tycho? Because I think the mansion is the other one. You think it's the foot washing? I mean, no. I said it. The Taiko. Oh, that's right. The Taiko of Sugaru. This whole area used to be the residence of the Sugaru, a clan of samurai. So, that's why you were hanging around in the middle of the night. Discover anything interesting? No, nothing. Though I admit I haven't been looking into these things too hard. Right, I think I understand your situation. Thank you for your answers. No, it's quite late, so you'd be best heading home. Hmm. 
to figure out... Uh... I don't know if I can use the TV. Nothing else? Mm. Uh, something wrong. You're free to go. Why do you keep pouting? <laughs> Stop. <sighs> Let's just leave? The detectives show no sign of leaving. I don't have conclusive proof that they're curse bearers either. The risk is too high for me to stick around talking with them for long. I see. Well, I'll be going now. Take care. Let's go. Okay. Back to the high school. Hmm. I don't know how else I could have... I didn't have clear direction on how to... to avoid them spotting me. I don't know. Whatever. Here I am at Komagata High School. Okay. Schools sure are spooky at night. Curses aside, something about it just gives me the creeps. The only thing I could think of, like, when I was spying on them is... I was clicking, but I wasn't dragging the screen. Maybe I should have dragged the screen to, to try to f actually physically move behind the tree. Gymnasium. Let's see here. Uh-oh. Ah! Someone's there! Huh? Whoa, what the... Ouch! Oh, female characters, finally! Do you know how hard it's been having all these... All these, uh, male characters to voice? It's exhausting. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, but did you just climb over the school gate? A student appearing suddenly at the location of the fool's procession late at night. Clearly something unusual is going on, and it involves the curse. I can't write it off as coincidence. Ah, uh, school gates. The school gate is closed, but climbing over looks easy enough. Gymnasium. The large gymnasium looms silently over the grounds. It's even more imposing in the dark. A girl in a school uniform came climbing over the front gate. She must be a student here. Do I have to pan all the way down? Huh? That thing she's hiding in her hand. No doubt about it. That's a curse stone. This girl is a curse bearer. Uh-oh. Might want to be careful. That girl, she's a curse bearer. What's going on? Why are you out at school this late? Um, well... I'm really sorry. I'm in a big hurry right now, so I gotta go. Am I really gonna kill this young girl? Oh no, this is terrible. I don't want to go around killing people. Come on, man. Hey, wait. He did it himself. Oh, I notice when I don't press it that he does it himself. Huh? Gah, a curse! Gah, why? It can't be... Uh, Mio, I'm sorry. You just killed this girl! This is horrible! Ugh. This is really bad, you guys. Oh my god. What a weird amount. It only gave us 6%? Huh. Jesus. <gasps> You're really gonna just kill people? I killed her. I think he feels guilty about this one. Because she didn't actually attack us first, so... 
Yes, we got a curse bearer. This is working. I just have to keep it up. How many more do I need? One? Two? 3 a.m. This is awful. I like... Uh, I like the game. It's interesting. But it's also really bad. Like, I feel bad. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's very dark. Alright, on to the next one. First, the one-sided read by Ryo, Ryo Goku Bridge. Then, the evergreen beach at the former Yasuda Gardens along the Sumida River. Finally, Sumida River. Isn't the river where you're gonna die? So after all this, we're gonna end up losing you anyway? I don't know. I mean, we're closer here. The former Yasuda Gardens. There was some kind of incident here recently, so the entrance was closed off. But it was easy enough to sneak in since there are no guards at this time of night. However... The question is... What do I do about this? It feels weird being in these magnificent gardens after hours. There's not a visitor or groundskeeper in sight. The Ryogoku Public Hall is also on the grounds. Its eye-catching structure makes this place feel even more otherworldly. Okay. A lush green park administered by Sumida City, as is common in traditional Japanese gardens, its large central pond is shaped like the character for heart. The paths that crisscross its grounds, lined with stone lanterns, are perfect for strolling while appreciating the foliage or bird watching. The gardens once pooled in water from the Sumida River so that its pond would ebb and flow with the tide, a novelty in Edo, which had begun filling in the bay to support its expansion. But the practice has been discontinued in modern times due to flood prevention measures. Nothing else? Okay. The question is, what do I do about this? Feels weird. Not a visitor. Oops, didn't mean to click that. Oh, I have to move. <gasps> oh, God! This damn game. <laughs> oh, this damn game is gonna scare the hell out of me. Hmm. This woman. Stop zooming in! I don't like it! No! Why? 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 Looking at her lips! Why? <laughs> oh. So... Have you decided what you're going to do with your oh so precious curse stone? Uh oh. This woman. I'm scared. Yeah. As soon as I snuck into the gardens, a woman inside called out from behind me. Oh, that's scary! I've been waiting for you. I have a curse stone. Her sudden proclamation had me at a loss for words. So the woman continued. I have you in a position where I can use my curse on you whenever I please. If you hand over your curse stone, I will at least spare your life. In that moment, all I could squeeze out in reply was, let me think about it. Oh boy. Which brings us to now. Oh crap. Is this it for us? 
All right. Damn it. I expose myself somehow? She said she can use her curse on me any time. I guess I've already fulfilled its conditions. It could be a bluff, but since she seems to have information on me, it's probably true. I can't ho hand over my curse stone. I need to figure out how her curse is activated and find a way out of here. For now, maybe I can get some information by talking about something that'd catch her interest. Hmm. We're in, we're in deep trouble, aren't we? A woman in her thirties. She has a refined air about her. And she was brought up in a family of high social standing. I also sense a shadow hanging over her. I wonder if it has to do with this place. Hmm... Don't tell me you still haven't made up your mind. Such an indecisive man. Wait. Um. I might hand over my car stone, depending on certain things. Will you hear me out for a moment? Arr, creepy. Sure. Go on. About curse stones. If you take my curse stone, what are you going to do with it? With your curse stone? It's brimming with soul dregs, isn't it? So she's already thinking, well, you're a killer, so I shouldn't feel too bad about killing you. It's already killed so many. No. How does she know? How does she know so much? I like to avoid such crude methods myself. Seven. Seven? Is she counting down? You want soul dregs. That means you're after the Rite of Resurrection, too. Not that I'm trying to compare our circumstances, but can I ask what led you to this? Oh my. Her eyes! Do you mean that if my situation is more dire than yours, you'd give your curse stone to me? Sure, I'd consider it. So tell me. Liar. Huh? You wouldn't hang your fate on something as superficial as that. Nor would I. Six. Uh-oh. She's counting. Uh, introduce yourself. If we're going to talk, we should get to know each other better. My name is Shogo- Stop. Huh? Let's not do that, alright? If I know your name, I might start to feel sorry for you. And have a harder time killing you. You would? Don't you think? Five. Oh, this is not going well. Oh, uh, is there anything else we could do? Can you take soul dregs from other curse bearer's stones and add them to your own? Who knows? But, you have to admit, it's worth trying. So basically, you want soul dregs, but you steal the ones others have gathered because you don't want to get your hands dirty? You're half right. But half wrong, too. Hmm? I don't mind getting my hands dirty. 
I just want to end this with as little trouble as possible. Understand? No. Four. Ah! Help me! Can I run? Can I? Oh. Dang, nabbit. What condition have I fulfilled since the moment I stepped foot in here? Something that I'm still doing even now. Think, what could it be? Maybe something I have on me? If I suddenly strip naked on the spot, I just might be able to avoid her curse. No, that would take too long. She'd probably kill me before I even got my shirt off. Plus, I'd look like a creep. The other possibility is that the condition has to do with the location we're in. Yeah, I was thinking that too. If being here is what activates the curse of the Evergreen Beach. Which one was this again? I'm probably cheating, but I don't care. Uh, which one? This one just about the tree, right? Oh, uh, I don't know. Dang, nabbit. I didn't see, like, a clear clue. Then I'll continue to meet that condition as long as I'm here. In which case, there's no escape. She'd activate her curse before I ever got away from the gardens. I'm sure I'd recognize it after setting it off, but it's not like I'd get to do things over. Well... Uh-oh. She's not saying anything. Oh. My son. What? He'd be in sixth grade now. If he were still alive. Oh. When I'm one of the big kids, I'll help look after the first and second graders, he'd say. He'd always had a strong sense of justice and responsibility. He wouldn't stand by when he saw other kids being bullied. He'd defend them, even if he was no match for the bully himself. He'd often come home in tears, but only because he was sad that he wasn't strong enough to save others. He wanted to be a policeman when he grew up. Grew up. Okay, okay. I get it. Bruh. I feel for her. If she's telling the truth. But even then, it's like, come on, compared to Yoko, bro, come on. <laughs> oh. The dog's barking. Okay, okay, I, I get it. I've heard enough. Oh, that's enough for you? Yeah. Hearing such a sad story. This makes me all the more sorry that I haven't changed my mind. Oh. <laughs> Ice cold! Why are you gonna say it like that? I see. <laughs> so even after what I told you. Three. Uh, can I... Is it my item? The 100 yen lighter that saved my life still has a tiny bit of fuel left. Uh, is it the stone itself? Her stone. 67. Whoa, 67? Wasn't it at 36 a minute ago? Have I killed other people without seeing it? Damn. So if I can't figure out her curse, I'll have to set off my own. I'm gonna see how I can make her leave, though. Not while she has the upper hand. All I can think of is to make her use her curse. Damn it. But there's no way I could counterattack after she curses me. Bro. I don't know. I guess try and introduce yourself again. Well, what if you just tell me your name? Why? Well, I need to call you something. Then call me man. Huh? 
Um, all right, ma'am. Yes, what is it? Ugh, this is bad. She's completely running the show here. Two. I literally cannot think of any other way to get out of this. I could think of is to make her use her curse, counterattack. Um. How do you know you haven't already set off my curse? Go on then, use it. If I had, you could have activated it without all that bluster. And yet, here you are. Ugh. Damn, does she already know about it? Or about that student from before? If she already knows what would activate it, she wouldn't hide it. Because if you know what activates my curse, there's no way you would set it off yourself. So she must not know yet. I still have a chance. Listen. I don't want you to get the wrong idea. About what? Talking like this instead of killing you immediately. It's just a whim of mine. What I mean to say is that you are never in a position to bargain. Ooh, ice cold! Her eyes! Ugh. One. Oh, I'm screwed. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to get rid of my items. What's with the X? No. Um. Well. There's literally nothing else I can do, is there? You still won't hand it over. Zero. Rip. Such a shame. I think we were screwed the moment we entered this area, so... Yeah. What? This is the end for you. Uh oh. Oh my god. What is that? Farewell. No! Oh! Ah! Fire! Fire! It's so hot! It, it burns! It's the lighter. It has to be the lighter. Fire? Fire! Oh, of course! That's what it was. Okay, he's screaming. That guy. Damn it. He must have been following me. He did ask us if we had a lighter. So it's weird because we needed the lighter to save us in the other place. But having it here killed us. But it's already too late. Rip. We're dead again! <laughs> oh boy. Haunting Shogo. Witness the death of him again. Well, yeah! I, I mean, this one was kind of hard to avoid, right? <laughs> so I think we're gonna leave this episode right here with the storyteller scolding us like, you did it again! <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day!